The first cruise to travel directly from the United States to Cuba in more than half a century is now back at Port Miami. The Fathom Adonia docked today. CBS 4's Silva Harapetian spoke with passengers about that historic trip. The Adonia Fathom pulled into Port Miami early Sunday morning with some passengers recovering from an illness. Um, I didn't know anybody that was sick. We just got an announcement from the captain. With more than 700 passengers on board, 14 reported suffering from stomach-related symptoms. It was suspected to be the norovirus, but that has not yet been confirmed. They were all treated on board. I didn't really see uh, that much of a problem personally, but I heard a couple of people talking about it. In most cases, it lasted one or two days. Despite the incident, many of the passengers we spoke to said the cruise to Cuba was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So I, now I can tell you what it's like to be the Rolling Stones, and when you get out of your car and there are hundreds of people waiting for you, that's exactly what it was. The warmest reception we've ever received at any port anywhere in the world, and we've cruised over 30 times. Doug Carson and his wife live just north of West Palm Beach. What we saw on the various tours was obviously choreographed, but then it was open. We, we had free time to move around uh, within the cities. You know, my wife told me I look like an ultimate tourist with a, with a hat, with the flags, and my baseball bat and everything. <laughs> the Adonia Fathom, the first U.S. ship to sail to Cuba in more than 50 years. But before the ship finally sailed last Sunday, there were some rough moments when Carnival Corporation wouldn't take reservations from Cuban-born Americans, saying it was following Cuban government policy. After public outcry, threats of sanctions from the Miami-Dade's mayor, and even criticism from the Secretary of State, Carnival announced it would not sail the Adonia to Cuba unless Cuban-born Americans were allowed to join the cruise, and they were. A total of 16 were on board, including this woman who left Cuba when she was nine. Like, ah, I'm home, <laughs> finally. The ship was scheduled to undergo a thorough scrubbing before taking off for the Dominican Republic later on Sunday. Cuba trips every other Sunday, the next one, of course, next Sunday. Silva Harapetti on CBS4 News.